Good afternoon, scientists. Today we are furthering our exploration about erosion. And erosion is the weathering away of Earth's landscape, whether it be rocks rolling down a mountain and breaking up and breaking off the side of a mountain, or wind or rain blowing away a hillside with its forces. Remember we talked about push and pull forces and gravitational forces that can erode different surfaces. Today you're going to be an engineer to design something that will prevent, which means to stop or to slow, the erosion of a hill or a mountain. Let's get started. This is a project that if you can do it outside, I would recommend you doing it outside. Go try this in your backyard, your front yard, on a porch, somewhere outside, because if we're creating wind erosion, things might get blown away a little bit. You don't wanna to have to clean up a big mess after your science experiment. Step one, check with somebody at home to make sure you have permission to do a hands-on science activity. This one can be a little bit messy, so it's extra important to get permission before you get started. Step two, get some sort of placemat. I'm using a kitchen dish towel. If you have newspaper, a dish towel like this, a beach towel, some sort of layer beneath your project will be really important in easing your cleanup. Step three, get some sort of tray or plate. I'm going to use one of our trays from our classroom, but if I didn't have this, I could use something like a plate. I would use a plastic one if I were you. See if you can gather something that's more stable, a hard material to build your project on. Step four, create your hill or your mountain. You can name it whatever you want. I'm using soil. You might find dirt in your backyard. If you don't have that available to you, other things that you can use could be flour, sugar, something with really small pieces that can be blown away. So I'm using a measuring cup just to measure out a mountain. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna put my mountain on my tray. The best way I could probably do this, see, I'm making a mess already, is to hold it upside down and then flip it over so it doesn't all spill out at once. And there, I have a little bit of a mountain. It's not perfect. I can form it with my hands to make it a little bit better, a little bit bigger. Excellent, I have Cardin Mountain right here. Your job is to build something that will prevent, which means to stop or slow wind erosion. Last week we researched about retaining walls and how plant vegetation could help with their roots prevent the erosion of a hillside or a landscape. Your job is to create something that will help prevent the erosion of your hill or your mountain. You can use a retaining wall or try, maybe there's some vegetation that you can use. I have some succulents here at home that I trimmed. You can see if there's some plants at home that you could trim from a yard. If not, there are plenty of other different materials that you can use. Some things you could try to create something with. Tin foil, you can find this probably in your kitchen Remember, ask a family member. A paper towel, plastic bags or saran wrap. You could even fill them with something to try to build a retaining wall of some sort. Paper clips, normal paper. Of course, the STEM project staple tape. If you don't have tape that looks like this, any tape will work. Just normal clear tape, washi tape, duct tape, whatever tape you like. <laughs> Creative, you can see what other materials around your house could be helpful in your design, such as marbles, pebbles. Just make sure if you're gathering supplies to check in and make sure to ask permission. Is it okay if I use this for my STEM project? Get started on your project and then we'll come back to test it. I'm so excited to see your designs. Please send me a picture of them. Now it's time to test wind erosion. Now I just have our plain hill because I just want to see your creativity. I don't want you to build exactly what I would have built. Here are some things you could try to create your own wind erosion at home. A straw can create wind erosion like this. 
blow gently, not like you're blowing out a big birthday cake with birthday candles. We don't need that much air, especially if you're using dry soil like I am. You don't want to create a huge mess. Another thing you can try is a hair dryer. You can plug it into the wall and blow a little bit to see where the wind erosion. And when you're creating your erosion, stay on one side. Naturally, wind usually comes one direction at a time. Another final option, if either of those two things are not available to you, is a gigantic fan like the one I have in my apartment. This will create a lot of wind erosion. So this would be a last circumstances type of thing. You can always create your own straw with a piece of paper, roll it up in a tube like so, and blow through that. I can't wait to see your design and hear about your reflection. Good luck.